Hi and welcome back to this channel and uh, thanks for viewing this video. So today we are going to develop another very simple program uh, which is going to be to display this right angle triangle uh, just like the one we did in uh, the previous video. But here the difference is going to be that as you can see in this triangle we are repeating the number in the row. So in the previous video, we made um, okay, a triangle using numbers, but we could see that the numbers in each row were consecutive. But here we are having numbers that are repeating themselves on each row. Okay, so as you can see, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, and 9, 9. So I'm going to show you how to uh, develop a Java program in order to um, print out such a triangle uh, like this one on the screen. So let's start with coding our small program. So as with the previous example we took, we are going to use our keyboard our, as our source of input. Then um, we have imported the scanner class as well. So after doing that, we need to declare a variable that we are still going to call number of rows as in the previous video. And then here we will do an output statement. Then we will say, please enter the number of rows. And, um, and here we will go and write an input statement, number of rows, then uh, the input object console that next int. So this is uh, the same thing as we did in the previous video. Then here, we will write our for loop statement. So we we'll say int i equal to one semicolon. The condition is going to be i must be less than or equal to number of rows, semicolon i plus plus. Then we need to put the curly braces, we write a second for loop statement and we we'll say int j equal to one. Then the condition is going to be j less than or equal to i. Then we we'll increment the value of j. So we will uh, open the curly braces and we will say system at out dot print. And this time, instead of writing J inside the brackets, we're going to uh, write I. Okay, so it's the value of I that will need to be printed out. Then uh, finally, we will write another system out that print line, and we will simply put an empty um, an empty string. So this one is using the method print, and the second output statement here is using the method print line. So we have to keep that in mind, or else if we uh, don't respect that, we are not going to get uh, the right uh, the right angle triangle pattern showing. So let me run. I can say, okay, let me type the number of rows, five, for example. And when I press enter, you can see that I'm getting the triangle pattern. And then the number is repeating itself on each row. But you will see that if I change here, I instead of putting I, I put J and then run. We will still get a triangle, but you will see that on each row, the numbers are going to uh, continue consecutively. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, because we have put the value of J here, but if we put the value I to be outputted and run, you will see that on each row, the value, the number is repeating itself. So this is the kind of a difference um, in these two portions of code. And as you can see, it was just uh, a minute detail that we changed and uh, it has completely changed the output of our program. So uh, in programming and coding, uh, sometimes it's really important to be precise on the code that we write because a simple mistake can mislead and uh, create a lot of damage. So guys, that was it concerning how you could write a program that will print out a right angle triangle uh, that will repeat a number in a row, just like we did it here. Okay, as you can see, let me try it one more time. 
All right, so I hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like, subscribe to this channel. So let's meet in the next video.